Hello today's video we have the following content. The fickleness of the entertainment industry is vividly reflected in the 41-year-old Tang Yan. When reviewing Tang Yan's acting career, we can't help but talk about her and Yang Mi's once very good friendship. Their friendship started from the popular TV series Legend of Sword and Fairy III in 2009. At that time, they were both unknown newcomers and had few conflicts of interest, so this relationship was particularly pure and touching. Then, on Tang Yan's birthday, Yang Mi personally sent her sincere blessings. In this way, the two of them gradually became familiar with each other and their friendship became deeper. When Tang Yan's relationship with her ex-boyfriend Qiuze fell into trouble and broke up, Yang Mi stood up without hesitation and directly accused Qiuze's behavior on social media to support her friend Tang Yan. This shows that they had a very good relationship at that time. What is particularly touching is that when Yang Mi was happy about her wedding, Tang Yan was the only bridesmaid to go to her wedding and send her best wishes for a happy wedding to this closest girlfriend. However, this good situation did not last long. As the two of them became more and more famous in the entertainment industry, they had more and more resources, and it was inevitable that their resources would overlap. In 2015, they starred in the movie version and EV version of the romantic film Y Shang Ziyama respectively, which meant that the competition between the two officially began. Although the two have long stopped interacting with each other, when you think of the ironclad friendship back then, you can't help but sigh. In 2009, when the TV series The Legend of Sword and Fairy III was popular on the screen, Tang Yan relied on her excellent acting skills to successfully portray the role of Zixuan and was very popular with the audience. In the play, Tang Yan's early she was innocent and lively, salty and sweet, and the image of a girl was played very vividly. At that time, she had bangs, was simple and innocent, and made people feel that she was just a lively and lovely girl. In the middle and later stages of the plot, as the character continues to grow and change, the veil is lightly covered, the eyebrows and eyes are full of charm, and every move shows a charming and charming temperament, which can make many audiences fascinated. The most unforgettable thing is the complete change of image in the later part of the play. After suffering two emotional blows like, she changed from an innocent girl to a who can see the world clearly, is particularly independent and strong. The once simple and lively girl has now become a smart and calm woman. Her deep eyes seem to be able to see through people, and have a bit of worldly feeling. In the end, for the future of her beloved, she chose to give up. The scene where she drank with tears is still remembered clearly by many audiences. Just because Tang Yan performed a corner so brilliantly and dazzlingly, no matter what role she played later, the audience's reaction was quite bland, and only this role could make the audience particularly like it. Look at many of her works, such as In Love is True, Good, and Beautiful, The Rider in the Woman on the Bread Tree, Jang Zin in The Princess Thief, etc., all of which are typical images of, which are very different from the later style of. It seems that the influence of XXX is really too deep and far-reaching. It is the most classic and unforgettable masterpiece in Tang Yan's career. It is also because of XXX that her career has reached its peak. The audience has been looking forward to it. On October 28, 2018, Tang Yan finally married Luo Jin, who had been in love for a long time, and their sweet love story ended successfully. From acquaintance to understanding and then to companionship until the old age, the deep love between the couple has become another classic example in the entertainment industry. Luo Jin and Tang Yan have acted in TV dramas together many times, and most of the time they appear as lovers. Their sweet exchanges on the screen naturally make people wonder are they real lovers, which undoubtedly also won them the support of many CP fans. December 6, 2016 On the 20th, Luo Jin posted a childhood photo of the two of them on the social platform, and also expressed his deep love to Tang Yan on her birthday. Then Tang Yan forwarded this dynamic and wrote, thus officially announcing their relationship, which made many CP fans very happy. After getting married, the couple's sweet and loving appearance is really enviable. In the recording place of the program, whenever the host asked Tang Yan a question, Luo Jin would always take the microphone from others carefully and hand it to his wife personally, so that she could speak freely. 2017 and 2016, they attended a TV station's New Year's Eve party together. When they sang the love song The Most Romantic Thing, they always looked at each other affectionately. The love on the scene was so strong that it felt like something cute could happen at any time. What is even more memorable is that during the program, the host gave Luo Jin a lollipop of ordinary color, and he immediately told the host to change it to pink, which Tang Yan likes, and then handed it to his wife from behind. 
This series of small actions was so sweet. It can be seen that Luo Jin is so considerate and caring to Tang Yan, and it can be seen that they have a deep relationship. The sweet vows of the two newlyweds will definitely become the life ideal that many boys and girls have been looking forward to. After getting married, Tang Yan devoted herself to a happy family life and put her career aside for the time being. But many of her fans miss the former idol who worked hard and was full of energy. Everyone is looking forward to her returning to the screen as soon as possible. In 2022, Tang Yan participated in the popular variety show RN, which finally allowed the audience to see her cute, innocent, lively and innocent side again, and her personality was deeply imprinted in everyone's hearts. In the show, Tang Yan showed her real, natural and unpretentious side. Not only is her acting superb and natural, but her personality is also very cute and playful, which makes people laugh. This is her first time to be a resident guest in a variety show. Aaron has brought many unforgettable things to the audience. For example, in one episode, Tang Yan was asked to make a home-cooked dish. She was so busy at the time that she was not smooth at all. In the end, it was only with the guidance of the staff that she finally finished the dish. The clumsy look throughout the whole process was so cute that the audience laughed continuously. Another time, she had to perform an impromptu skit on the spot in the show, but because she was too nervous, her expression became very stiff and her movements were very stiff, and the audience couldn't help laughing. Tang Yan herself was amused by her own appearance, her face full of shame and helplessness, it was so funny. In the show, we can clearly see that Tang Yan, a veteran actress in the entertainment industry, is two different people in and out of the play, the difference is very big. She can play any character in film and television works, but in real life, she is a lively, innocent, especially pure and lovely girl. Perhaps it is this contrast that makes everyone like her unique personality more and more. Next news. Tang Yan modified her masterpiece. Looking back, I feel that all the dramas Tang Yan filmed are classics, and I have seen them all. Legend of Sword and Fairy is considered Tang's most classic work and the first work to enter the public's field of vision. Xiao Family is Tang's masterpiece that first became popular and entered the rising period, and why Shang Xiaomo made Tang popular for the second time and became the king of traffic. Then, Ria Yang consolidated Tang's position as the queen of ratings. Finally, Flower successfully achieved transformation and laid a foundation for word of mouth. Therefore, these works are undoubtedly worth our recollection and appreciation. Tang Yan has starred in many well-known TV series, including The Female Thief of the Golden Age, The Three Daughters of the Xia Family, Fragrance of Life, etc. These dramas are widely popular among the audience, and they can be said to be hot dramas. The quality of female stars at that time was similar to Yang Mi, without too much hype and trivialities, but the young actors nowadays seem to be more shallow. Tang Yan's fan base is becoming older and older, and they are very Buddhist to their idols. In addition, Tang Yan herself is also a Buddhist star. Although the drama she starred in may not necessarily become phenomenal works, they can all reach the level of being popular or even popular, with very high ratings. In a certain year, she broadcast her dramas on several TV stations in a row, and these dramas were released at the same time. During a winter vacation, the stories of her three marriages were told, namely Silent Separation, The Princess Thief and Fragrance of Life. The latter two dramas are set in the background of the Republic of China, and the male protagonists are played by Liu Kei and Li Yifen respectively. Silent Separation of the Princess Thief it was broadcast on Jiangsu Satellite TV, and the transition was seamless, then after a while, Live Colorfully began to be broadcast on Hunan TV. Her flowering period is really long. I used to think Zixuan was very beautiful, but Tang Yan didn't have a very outstanding performance in the same period. But now she is in very good condition. And if you count carefully, among the people in the legend of Sword and Fairy III, she is the only one who proved herself through the flowers. Zero One Explosion is a failed work, similar to the three daughters of the Xia family, the content is mediocre and boring, and only one is enough. Why write so much? The reputation and quality of these two dramas are not good and flowers and why are they enough? I used to like watching ex-female agent starring him and Luo Jin, and I thought it was very exciting at the time. The protagonist and supporting roles in the play performed well. Several girls grew into agents in training, showing different personalities and choices. The only thing that confused me was Tang Yan's curly hair later, hair <laughs> Her ponytail was really super beautiful before. They also have a classic work together. In fact, 
My favorite drama starring Tang Yan is Gone with the Wind, in which she played Elyon's in Stubborn. This is the first time she and Luo Jin have worked together. She performed very well and can be called a pure heroine. Even if she is forced into a desperate situation, she will want to resist and insist on self-improvement. She has shown the style of a heroine in both love and career. The protagonist is a real female hero. The dramas decades ago did not emphasize the glamorous appearance. Although the heroine looks weak, she always pursues her goals firmly and does not give up her independent self for the fantasy Prince Charming. In addition, the supporting roles are also played very well, and all the actors in the whole series have shown excellent acting skills. It's a pity that this work has been outdated for many years and is not widely discussed at present. I like this drama very much. She has worked with Luo Jin many times, but I didn't expect that they would end up as a couple. The feeling brought by Liu Kei is really exciting. He exudes the same charm as in Thousand Mountains and Twilight Snow. In order to pursue a love, he is willing to betray the whole world. Tang Yang can be called the happiest female star in the entertainment industry. She has excellent conditions, outstanding appearance, good family and popularity, and a good husband. Whether there is a play filmed or not, with a large number of excellent works, you can live a happy and fulfilling life. Tang Yan's acting works are rich and colorful, and she can play all kinds of roles with ease. Not only can she take on the important role of the protagonist, but she also has the highest national popularity. Tang Yan is really amazing. She has been in the entertainment industry for more than 10 years with her strength, not by marketing means. Because without the support of good works, a person will soon be forgotten. This group of 85 flowers are really talented. They have participated in many popular dramas. They are not only excellent actors, but also can hold up regardless of height, weight or performance skills. Stars need to have excellent appearance conditions and commercial value, just like those basketball and football superstars, not just athletes. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 